Brothers and sisters, as we gather on this Saturday, just at the outset of Holy Week, we do so, walking step by step with our Lord through his stations, through his passion and suffering, and leading ultimately to his Easter glory. And so today on this Saturday, just before Palm Sunday, we find ourselves in consideration of this sixth station. St. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. And what you'll notice is I do not begin with the scriptural quote because she's not found within scripture. St. Veronica is one of the most popular piety devotions that the church might offer, at least one of the older ones, and that this woman who compassionately wiped the face of Jesus and cleansed it from its blood in the midst of the fervor of our Lord's way to Calvary, none of it is contained within these pages, and yet the church has maintained this tradition. Some associate a woman named Bernice, who is the woman suffering from hemorrhages, with this woman Veronica. In the Orthodox Church, they do celebrate her feast day. But for us, as Roman Catholic Christians, she really does not find a place within the Roman martyrology, within the Index of Saints. And the question is put to us, did she exist? I think that's not as important as a question as what she models for us, what she models for us. So often it's the least amongst these that show us the path of true discipleship. This is why our Lord is so quick always to take those children and to exalt them in their faith and the childlike way in which they approach God. In the same way, we look to this woman who very diminutively squeezes through the crowd and finds our Lord in the midst of his pain and wipes the blood from his eyes. Think of all of the wounds that were afflicting our Lord, the lacerations from the scourging, the bruises and broken bones, the weight of the cross under which he groaned. Of all of these things, what does she do? She wipes his face. How many of us simply desire to behold the Father's face? To simply gaze into the eyes of our beloved Father in heaven and to let him see us as we truly are. She shows us this path of discipleship as our Lord taught in his Sermon on the Mount. The blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. And in this moment of pure compassion, she shows us that loving the Father and showing compassion is as easy as it appears to be. And what's beautiful about her name, Veronica, right, is that we can split it. Vera icon, true image, right? And this, we can speak to the true image that appeared upon that piece of cloth with which she wiped, what, with which she wiped our Savior's face. But additionally, true image, what does Veronica show us? She shows us the true image of what it means to be a disciple. Whatever you do for the least of my brethren, you do for me, Jesus tells us. So often in our lives, we're looking for the Lord. And each one of us, if asked, would you step forward and wipe the blood from our Savior's face, would so quickly find ourselves uh, in that position. But instead, we're confronted by our neighbors who are asking us to help them. We're confronted by people within our community who are in need. And so constantly, we're dismissing those and yet seeking out the Lord. What the Lord is saying to us is that it comes in these moments. Our growth in faith comes in these small moments where we kneel down and simply help someone. So as we enter into Holy Week, brothers and sisters, let's be sure to just offer our heart. Let us share our lives with those we encounter. And let us be as St. Veronica modeled for us, the true image of our Savior. May God bless and keep you.